Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith. Barnabas looking for Paul. I'm looking for Paul. You mean Saul, who's asking? I'm his mother. Barnabas, whose name meant son of encouragement, was truly a good man, and full of the Holy Ghost and of faith, Acts 11:24, an ideal person to send to encourage and strengthen the new church in Antioch. He was a wealthy but unselfish Levite, Acts 4:36-37 and had helped Paul become accepted by the skeptical Jewish believers at Jerusalem, Acts 9:27. At Antioch, he was instrumental in winning so many to the Lord that the teaching work became greater than he could handle alone. He decided that the best teacher he could get was, Paul. Saul, soon to be known as Paul. Acts 13:9 had been sent away from Jerusalem several years earlier, Acts 9:30, and Barnabas had lost touch with him so that he had to seek him when he went to Tarsus to get him. Tarsus was Paul's hometown, but he may have been disinherited by his family when he returned there as a Christian, he testified that he had, suffered the loss of all things because of his conversion. Philippians 3 8 In Damascus, Paul tells everyone that Jesus is the Messiah. Acts 9 19-25 Paul. Brand new in Jesus and preaching in Damascus. Jesus is the Messiah. The only begotten Son of God. Paul being instructed for three years by Jesus. Acts 9.23. Many days were fulfilled. Galatians 1.12. I neither received it of man. Neither was I taught it. But by the revelation. Of Jesus Christ. Paul. Praising Jesus. In Damascus. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Paul has to escape from Damascus. The enemies of Jesus want to kill Paul. Paul is comforted by Jesus. Paul escapes from Damascus. God uses him mightily. Paul goes to Jerusalem. The followers of Jesus are suspicious of Paul. Barnabas trusts Paul and takes Paul to meet the apostles. Barnabas knows that the hand of God is on Paul. Paul is welcomed by the apostles. The enemies of Jesus plan to kill Paul. Acts 9.31 The church enjoyed peace, being built up, and going on in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit. It continued to increase.